Greetings and salutations, I am Keb, and we are in the middle of making our first little piece here in Hearts of Iron 4. Um, I'm kind of uncertain what I want, to be honest. We've already claimed uh, Yugoslavia and Greece, that's gonna go to us, the Nola Lowlands, and uh, Denmark, so we can get control of the strait. I've taken over Sumatra and Java because of the rubber resources there. And I'm wondering what resources I want the most. Well, we were importing quite a bit of oil and quite a bit of aluminum and extreme amounts of steel. So I don't know. Uh, we're going to take control of Norway, I think, at the very least. And I'm kind of tempted to grab a chunk of territory over here, just in case we're going to fight the United States later. Would be nice to have a good staging ground. But yeah, we're going to take that, and I, I was also looking at the reserves of chromium down here. Uh, that would certainly mean I would never be short of it if I took South Africa. I don't know if I can take all of it. Can I? Yeah, apparently I can. Okay, so Soviet South Africa. And there was also a fair, there are a fair bit of resources also in India. But I think, I think I'm going to take over Iraq first. Oh, we can't. Uh, then we're probably going to lose Iraq, but that's okay. So we're going to take this. That's our first chunk. Yeah, and turn with that. And that's mine. What do the others do? That's the question. Republican Spain has puppeted the British Raj. Okay. And they puppeted New Zealand. But only with one. They have to add territory next turn. Mm, the others couldn't add anything, apparently. Yeah, so they have two puppets. And I still have points. Can I take... I thought would click down, that would just kind of you know what, I am gonna pass, that's gonna double my points next time. Yeah, let's do that, let's pass once, let's see what they take. And they keep puppeting, they keep up with Canada, Kingdom of Libya, and Iraq. Damn you bastards, why did you puppet Iraq? Uh, I should have gone for it, oh well. And they also puppeted uh, Canada. I would have thought it would have added provinces to them, but apparently that's not in the game. That's not in the cards. Well, if you're just gonna do that, uh, I'm gonna take these two provinces because you were a douche. Uh, Saudi Arabia has oil. Not much though, but I'm gonna take that. Everything in Arabia. Um, that's a lot of rubber. I'm gonna take my little port over here as well. There are quite a few military factories here. And uh, yeah, that seems fine. I can still take more. Because he keeps puppeting. No one else has claimed anything yet. I mean, Iceland and Greenland not really interesting to us. <laughs> it's kind of odd. Why can't I take anything from France or Britain? I mean, we can't. It's <laughs> There's something very funky here. I don't know. Everybody else have surrendered, but not those two. So they are listed up here. I don't know. So I'm gonna take chunks of India. That's a lot of tungsten. A lot of good, a lot of good stuff. A lot of factories as well. How much are it gonna take? Quite a bit, actually.
Do I want another front with it? Uh, I probably don't. Let's see. Hmm. Forget where is that the border they have today? Don't recall. That's too much anyway. So take that. No way of reinforcing it, but that's okay. And turn. And you decide to do what? He decided to puppet the Netherlands. Yeah, he just wants to puppet. And it doesn't add territory to the puppets. Which to me sounds... Well, it looks strange. Um, so yeah, we could still take Cyrenaica with their factories and stuff, but that's not appealing to me. Um... Why aren't anybody else taking anything? Aren't they interested in anything? I don't know. Well, we'll take more chunks of India. If we could. Especially if they aren't interested in the stuff. We don't take the shore. Now that you decide to satellite Indonesia. Okay, so that's what, what's what's left over there. But I want land under my own control. That's gonna be too much, huh? Liberate Iceland and puppet Central Congo. That was Italy. Italy took something. Well done, Italy. I'm gonna pass and just get more points next time. And that was apparently a good idea because nobody took anything. So they puppeted one little bit of India. That's fine by me. Um, you took those territories, don't you? So they're interested in making a one province puppet. That's it. One province puppet. Yay. Awesome. And I think they've taken most of the resource rich areas. You, yeah. Oh, there's some tungsten stuff. Yeah. Let's just finish with India. Take everything that we can. There. Don't really care about the African interior. Uh, sure, we'll take a little chunk of South America. And uh, we just want some Canada. Just a little bit of Canada. Like all of it. Like so. And turn. And you did what? You puppeted Australia. And I'm gonna pass and get more points. You take Papua for Australia. Finally you start doing this. Solomon Islands. It took you this long to start doing something other than that. Okay, rest of Canada. It's gonna be a little puppet Canada there. I don't care. Um no, Belgium doesn't interest me. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, not really. Uh, more trunks of Australia. I mean, we can't really get to this territory. That's what annoys me. It's completely surrounded. We can't get to this either. Actually, we can get to Congo. Oh. Uh, you puppeted this stuff. And we're gonna split Australia in half. <laughs> well, not in half. Okay, that's my section. That's your section. This is mine. 
What else? Well, I suppose I can start invading Belgium. And take the tiny little chunk of Cyrenaica since you didn't fulfill that. What's left? Shouldn't be anything left now. Denmark, sure. I'll take Greenland. And end turn with that. And you pop it uh, the Faroe Islands. I missed those. Okay, the Faroe Islands. Oh, the great industrial power of the Faroe Islands. Yeah. Uh, the Netherlands still have states. Do they? Which ones? Curacao. Yeah, sure, we want our uh, little island over there. We'll take Curacao. And you still have states, and Ethiopia still has states. I'm gonna pop it, Ethiopia. Because I can't reach them, so that seems fine. And I'm gonna finish off with just taking all the states from New Zealand. What they have left. And turn, and there is nothing left. That's it. So, done. The interesting thing now is how this is going to work. Because... Uh... Oh, of course, that's why they were in civil wars. That's why. So by doing this, the civil war faction wins. That's why you couldn't take anything from the British Empire which if, or France. Because all of that territory belonged to our allies. <laughs> okay, well that explains quite a lot. Okay. And we are of course still at war, this time with Japan. And a bunch of small miners there. But yeah, so this became the British Empire, which is fascist. Should be. Very fascist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, we have basically supported two fascist countries and they hate our guts. Because they're fascist. But they have pretty much no troops. <laughs> Are they still allied to us? That's the question. Yeah, they're still in the common turn, and they're still fighting in a war with us. <laughs> uh. So basically, that whole thing I thought I was so clever earlier, um, it has a side effect. At least when you um, invite them into your faction. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. At least all of these guys are no longer upset with us. And we have so many things to reorganize. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Um, start with all air forces in the English Channel. Uh, actually, all aircrafts anywhere. Yes, send everything back to the reserves. Everything that isn't... Uh, anything. Wait a second, when I do this, do I lose the manpower? Or are they returned? I'm honestly not sure. It says the equipment. I assume that... We also regain... Yeah, we also regain the manpower, so that's fine. Otherwise, this would be rather annoying. Another bit of annoying management. Yeah, I know we're going to need to garrison Northern France or anything like that. Or the British Empire or anything. Ugh. Ugh. 
That's gonna be a lot of fighters. Uh, let's do start here. Just I mean we don't need these anymore at all, so let's grab them all. And yeah, we're gonna have tons of aircraft in the reserves. That's okay. Yeah, a slight miscalculation on my part, doing the whole <laughs> revolution thing. It was fun, and it did definitely made sure that we got tons of rubber, uh, which we needed throughout the war. But, uh, yeah, it kind of had a side effect of not being able to actually take anything from the really, really big powers. And that is kind of important. So maybe if, if I hadn't allied them, that would things would have worked out very differently. But uh, I did. Uh, that's all of those aircrafts. Everything here. I believe the only aircraft left are the ones over there. That's fine for now. Now for all the darn troops. Because now we are at war with... And not very many at all. Can we see the diplomatic? There we go. Basically at war with Japan. Okay, so how are we going to redeploy all of you guys? You. Well, um... Given that we basically killed uh, everyone else, Japan, Bulgaria, Australia, Romania, Brazilian. Yeah, so the it's mostly here. So your orders. We're gonna start with you. Garrisoning. You no longer have to garrison any area over there. Because there's not gonna be any resistance anymore. They stopped resisting. If I could just do this without arg. Fine, fine. Cancel all orders. And then do a garrison. I want you to garrison this little bit of Austria. And uh, sure, just garrison Austria. Mm hmm. That's ours, right? And Garrison Romania. Uh, let's see. That isn't Romania, is it? I honestly don't recall. Definitely have to Garrison Bulgaria. It should be that. So you Garrison those areas, that's fine. You! Big ass army. Cancel all your orders. Make a front line with the United States. An offensive line like this. Just plan that. Relocate and plan. In case we ever go to war with them. And I no longer have to defend this darn line. Or do I? I don't know. Uh, probably not. So I'm gonna count on that. And you are going to have a front line. Can I have a front line with my ally? Apparently I can. So, sure. You just protect against our friend there. Actually, I uh, cancel that. Narrower front line. Because you're just going to defend. You... Where are you set to garrison? Greece. Yeah, well, that's probably not going to be necessary anymore, so cancel that order. 
and make a front line pretty much along the, that border. No orders. You, much the same thing. Ah, not that one. Wrong front. It's gonna be interesting to see how this sorts out. You're currently set to guard Africa, which is no longer necessary. Cancel that. Mm. How many divisions do you have? 30. Oh, you're a field, com field marshal. Um, you know what? You can have a front line in southern Africa. Like so. Next up. What were your orders? You were probably on the fallback line. Yeah, I think you were. Cancel that. And... Just protect the lowlands. If you would. Which is more or less what you're already doing. Again, I just want them here in case... No, actually, you. You're gonna get a new order. You're gonna redeploy all the way to the east. And prepare for some uh, fun things with... Uh, a certain Japan. So redeploy everything to Vladivostok. And finally, we have one extra army here. I do have a field marshal. You take control of that. Yeah, you... Uh, I do that, you take the entire line, don't you? Yes, you do. So, don't do that. You're gonna be a more focused front line. So, you're just gonna be here. Go there and plan. There we go, finally! And that's all of them. And now, there's just the Far East ones, which are pretty much left where they were earlier. Still garrisoning. I don't really need you to do that anymore. Um, and of course, all the bastard. Ugh. Actually, just keep doing that. That's fine. Uh, if we invade Japan, we probably have enough troops over here. Uh, as for our tanks, do I want tanks in the Far East? Yeah, we already lost a few of them, so that's fine. Uh, redeploy. Now, the Vostok is going to be very overcrowded. Of course, you can't be because you're not in a port. Arg. So, fine. Uh, you move to Edinburgh. Or, for that matter, just... You do have a port. So, go from that port... ...to here, and I'll think about you in a moment. You're already... ...in a port. You, I can redeploy immediately. Yeah, I know, this is gonna take ever. Forever. There are just so many troops to move about. Uh, get to a port. The same thing, get to a port. Where the heck are you? Oh, you're there. Uh, I'll probably redeploy to Luxembourg. You're over in India, that's fine, so are you. You, I'm gonna need. Redeploy to. Yes, here. You are all present. You are not, so. March on Liverpool. And your paratroopers. March over there, just try to get there. I did lose one of the. Uh, Regiments, I think. Do more cavalry. Join this group. Two divisions of marines. Didn't I make four? 
Oh, they're still being trained, the last few. Uh, fine. Same with the last few paratroopers. And one, well, actually one more batch of those guys as well. That's fine. We need to start preserving our manpower. Just a wee bit. These numbers can't possibly be correct. So I'm gonna wait just a day. Okay, fine. Excellent. Navy! Navy, Navy, Navy. Uh, most of you are pretty much in the northern France area. You can dock here. Yep, cancel your orders. Go repair. Or did I tell you to go repair or did I? Uh, told you orders were to go to Holland, but I don't see a movement arrow. That's that's what's confusing me. I will see. Okay, more troop deployments. All the tanks and stuff, that's okay. All our handouts, leave them wherever they are. Free civilian factories. We want more radar coverage of all our shorelines. Just because we can get it. Oh, yeah, we definitely want radar coverage over here. Uh, why not for a little outpost as well? Just in case we go to war with the United States. I don't know. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen there. That should be all the civilian factories. The military factories, but yeah, we have sort of fulfilled most of our groupings because we basically terminated all the uh, aircraft wings. Mm, that's an upgrade need, right? Yes. Look at all them fighters. For now, none of those. We're still waiting for more necessity for more tanks. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Okay, where did that come from? Well, that was one health of an upgrade need. Um, yeah, fine then. Well, I guess we're gonna just produce infantry equipment with everything that we can. That should be it for all the factories. And they are no longer importing aluminium to us because they don't own it. Oh my. Yeah, we kind of need stuff. My word. I don't really want to give factories to Wichita France, but I suppose we'll have to. Much the same with the United States, but... Uh, that was what I already had. Oh, there is a button! Uh, uh. Stupid button. Um, it says we need a hundred oil. So this is incorrect, but uh, okay. You can no longer give us oil either. Fine, let's stop trading with you. Insufficient resource. We need a hundred and seven oil and a two hundred something steel. Oh boy. Seriously. Hundred and seven oil.
Huh. You know what? I, I guess we might as well go with Vichy France. For this simple reason. The, their, their reserves are easily conquered. If they turn on us. Which they probably will. We still need 60 or 68 more oil. Uh. Let's see, we need even more, I think. No. Ask for military access from the United States. Yeah, sure. We're friends. That's why I'm preparing for war with you. Truman has taken charge. Not that I think that's going to help him. So, who did actually take charge of the British Empire? Oswald mostly. Okay. And of course, he had... To, yeah, that's the good thing. Or is it the bad thing? They're now on a generic tree. Right. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have the British, British tech tree. Excellent. And the same is true for France, so they lose all their French bonuses. Ain't that great. Lovely. And of course they have <laughs> the Spains with all the little puppets. Which might actually not be a bad idea, to be honest, because all those troops... Well, yeah, well, let's see. That could, or rather, all these new states will start with the... Uh... Oh, no! Do they just adopt the tree of the country that is puppeted? Okay, so I thought they would start with a completely new tree. So they basically could do the industrialization twice over. Apparently that's not the case. Okay, so... All our troops are slowly beginning to deploy over here. We probably should start focusing on building up airfields. Uh, yeah, construction airfields. I think that is actually the top priority in this area. We need airfields. So we're going to do that. That's lots of airfields. So we're going to make that top priority for a moment. Infrastructure. Yeah, we probably want to build up the infrastructure also. Certainly to five in those areas if we're going to support a massive invasion, which we are probably going to try. And uh, not dockyards, but naval bases. Isn't that a button? There it is, naval base. Mm, yeah, increase blood loss to two over. And increase these to five. Okay, and all of this stuff needs to go in the top of the list. So you naval base, infrastructure, and then the airfields. And if I can find the radar outposts. Over here, yeah, Okotsk, Kamchatka, Siberia, Kleyevsk, Southern and Northern Sakhalin, Kamarovsk, and Vladivostok. There we go. Lovely. That should set all the important stuff at the top of the line. Well, not all of it. It'll, it'll, it'll be finished eventually. And then we'll have to get these airplanes up and running. Mail bombers, that wing. Spent a thousand. Add another fighting wing over here. Should have plenty of fighters now. A thousand fighters. Plus an ace. There should be plenty of them. Ooh, unassigned dead aces. So many of them. 
This guy is part of fighters, didn't I just... Oh, I clicked on the naval bombers, didn't I? Uh, okay, you can take charge of the naval bombers. All the aircraft we can field on that airfield. Come to think of it, how many aircraft do Japan, does Japan have? That's gonna be interesting to see. You can be assigned. Good. Lovely. Let's have a look. Well, how much big of a threat are we facing here? Well, they're mostly the Navy. Oh, they do have a fair, fair sized Air Force. Uh, isn't there an airfield here somewhere? I don't know. Uh, it must be. Yeah, there is. That belongs to this state. Where is the airfield for Yeah, I'm gonna take a short break and I'll see, see if I can find the airfield. <laughs> it must be here somewhere. Thank you for watching.